Want to make your iOS app stand out? Adding voiceover accessibility with dynamic text is a secret to reaching a wider audience and I will show you how. Please follow the on-screen instructions. Welcome to your accessible app. So this is the application we will create. It enables audio to be included for accessibility. And also you can enlarge the font sizes of the text by going to the system settings. Systems. And then we select accessibility, click it, display and text size. To make the font size larger, just click on large text. And then we can increase or decrease the font text. I'll increase it to a bigger size. And then go back to the application. Or I just rerun the application, it's probably quicker. Please follow the on screen instructions. Welcome to your accessible app. As you can see, the font sizes has been increased. If I type in the text fields, you hear the audio description. Username field updated. Password. Password field updated. User types. User type selected. Admin. User type selected. Guest. User type selected. User. And then if I click on the button. Option selected. And then we can also save the audio feedback settings via app storage if I click on the switch. So this is the application we will create in this tutorial. We will continue to add our GUI elements to the content view. Enter the following dot font body dot accessibility label username field and the purpose of adding dot accessibility label is to enable the label to be read by screen readers and to be identified by screen readers also. Dot accessibility hint Enter your name, and that adds a accessibility hint to the screen reader to provide guidance to the user to enter their name. Dot on change. Username the value in C 
So what this will do, anytime the username changes, then the speak text method will be called. Audio enabled and not username spoken. Speak text. Username field updated. Username spoken equals true. On tap gesture, username spoken equals false. So now the method that we need to create is the speak text function that enables the audio to be spoken. You can create that after line for 74. Type in private, funk, speak text, string. The string parameter is the word that we want to be spoken is audio enabled if audio is enabled then we just exit the function if it is enabled on the device then we continue to execute these lines current language equals local preference languages dot first so it gets the first language within the array so if it's GB The default is GB, but if the default isn't GB, then it just returns. The way it does, it gets the first language in the array. If you can't get the first language in the array, then it makes the default GB. Like the English language. Let utterance equals AV speech utterance string text utterance dot voice equals AV speech speech maybe speech synthesize voice and then for the voice the language we want to be the accent that we want is English, so the language is English.
utterance dot rate equals zero point five. And utterance is the rate of the speech that's been spoken. Speak synthesizer but speak utterance. And now we can go back to line 37 that we created in the previous tutorial. And then within that line we can call the method we just created. Speak text. Welcome to your accessibility accessible app. The next thing we need to do is to add our support fields for our password. Add that after line 70. Secure field. Enter password. Add some padding, background, color, system gray six. Corner radius, eight, one, Body accessibility label password fields. Accessibility hint Enter your password And then we need to create the unchanged method that we created previously So I'll just copy the one that we've done previously on line 60, between line 60 and line 70. And place it after line 78. Instead of using username, it should be password. And this should be password spoken. Password spoken is true. Password spoken is false. Password field updated.
In the next tutorial, we will complete the content view GUI. Thank you for joining us. If you found this tutorial helpful, please comment, like and subscribe. See you next week.